Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty and we know that Lisa Eldridge is launching new lipstick shades today. So there are new shades of the velvet lipsticks plus she has restocked all of the velvet lipstick shades. There are also three new glosses. So four new lipsticks, three new glosses and she's made the lip pencils available individually and she has one for every shade. There are 17 lip pencils. <laughs> so I figured in preparation, I would go ahead and swatch all of the lip products that I have. I have, I think all of the velvets um, and all of the glosses. So we've got that and I've got a couple of lip liners as well. So let's start off with the glosses. I'm gonna do my best to try to keep everything all on one arm so you guys can see everything you know together all at once at the end. But this first gloss here is Songbird. So let's put this one here. Songbird is one of my favorites and I do have lip swatches that I will have at the end because you know the swatches of lip glosses on the arm you know they're really going to be much more sheared out on the lips so definitely take a look at the lip swatches as well then we have um go lightly and go lightly is much peachier so you can see that songbird is kind of like a neutral rose rosy shade um there's like a touch of brown in it and it's slightly warm okay but um, Go Lightly then is kind of like a brighter peach shade. And then we have Charm, which is going to be a soft pink. It's a cooler tone pink. You can see that these all have a sheen. They're, none of these have sparkle, these three. Um, but we will get to one with sparkle. <laughs> then we have one of my all-time favorites, Muse which is going to be kind of like a more brownish nude shade with a touch of rose. This one is, it's pretty darn neutral. You know, it can look a little warm and it can look a little cool. So I think it's pretty neutral, but we do have a warmer version in the Affair Gloss, which is again, going to be a brownish nude. It's a little bit deeper and it's warmer. There are golden undertones in this. Next, we have Beauty, which is more of like a medium, almost medium deep uh, rose shade. And it's a pretty neutral rose. You can see that, you know, it doesn't really lean warm or cool. Next up, this one has some sparkle. This one is Delilah and it is decidedly cool tone. Look at that. It's like a blue based uh, pink shade, but it's got like, it's got shimmer. So this one on the lips can actually be fairly sheer. It's kind of got that like blue raspberry vibe to it. Then we have blush. We're gonna start moving down here. So blush is going to be like a deep tea rose. So you've got kind of those dusty rose vibes to it, but it's much deeper. There's like a touch of like a brick red in there. And then we have ribbon which is actually a very stunning blue-based red. And it's like the ribbon lipstick, but in gloss form. If you don't like wearing reds, if you can dab this on lightly and just get like kind of like a sheer red. It's really beautiful. And then last up for the glosses, we have Myth, which is going to be a deep cool base berry. You can see that you've got those pink um, blue-based tones in there as well. So these are all of the Lisa Eldridge glosses. Now the formula itself, let me just go through the packaging. This is the packaging of the glosses and they have a three year shelf life, 36 month shelf life. And they're made in Italy. They're four and a half milliliters or 0.15 ounces. And you can see that there are cute little squat uh, lip gloss. You've got twist open and you can see like when I twist it open look how it like kind of pops up on its own right so there's a little pop this is the shape of the applicator so this applicator is really nice because you can either use this side and kind of as a little spatula to get up a lot of product you can also wipe that on here and it acts very nicely as a lip brush or if you want to use this side as a spatula you can use the rounded side as well to kind of help smooth things out so that's one of the things I like about uh, these glosses. They are a very nice consistency. You know, they're not 
overly sticky or anything like that. And they're just, they're very comfortable on the lips. I really like her gloss formula. All right, and let's go ahead and take a look at the lip liner since I only have two of those. These have a two year shelf life and they are made in Germany. I have the shade Ribbon. We're gonna put that right here by the Ribbon lip gloss. So here's the pencil. It is one that you need to sharpen. It did not come with a sharpener. And you can see it's a really nice complement to this. It's really a great basic red. And then the other one that I have is Blush, which is, this one right here so we'll put that right next to it just there you go so here is blush you can see that these liners i mean look at the edges they kind of still i mean you can get a defined lip with this but it still kind of has a little bit of that blurring ability ability as well so um yeah they're really nice i do think that the blush lip liner is a little bit more purple than the gloss so just a little bit more plum in there. All right, so let's move into the lipsticks. Now, just a little bit about the lipsticks before we look at the swatches. They come in a like a brush gold case or satin gold case, and they are magnetic. Now, there have been issues that some people have experienced with breakage. Look at this velvet texture on here. I have actually been somebody who has experienced breakage. Uh, customer service is fantastic. If you tell them it broke, they do send you a replacement. These have an 18 month shelf life. They're made in Italy and they're three and a half grams or 0.12 ounces. So um, let's start off with the swatches. Now these are a velvet matte formula and this is a shade Fawn. And you can see that they're pretty opaque with one swatch. This is built up a couple times there. And Fawn is like a warm nude. You can see that there are definitely brown tones in there. So it's a warm golden brown nude, in my opinion. And then we have a Fair, which is a bit deeper and a bit more chocolate. Also warm tones. Next, we have Beauty. As you can see, mine is one that is it's broken at the base. So I'm just careful to not open it too far. Um, but this one is Beauty, and you can see that this is very similar to the Beauty Gloss, and it is going to be like a tea rose kind of shade, um, about medium depth. So this one here, Beauty, is slightly cooler tone, um, just to note here. And then we have Velvet Blush, and I'm very excited because there is a blush lightly coming out that's going to be a little bit lighter in tone, but still reminiscent of these tones here. And you can see that this is gonna be deeper. It's rose with a touch of brick red. So, I mean, you can see a little bit of those brick tones in there. So there is warmth in here. Next up we have Muse. This is one of my all time favorites. I have two of these because I like this one so much, but you can see that this is going to be a brownish rose shade. And I'd say it's pretty neutral. Well, I'd say it's neutral leaning warm. So there's a little bit extra warmth in it than a true neutral. Next we have Velvet Decade, which is a rich brown. And I believe if I recall correctly, this was supposed to be reminiscent of some of the 90 shades, but you can see it's a rich chocolate brown. And this one has some cool tones to it. Next we have Velvet Dragon. This shade has been very popular since her last launch. It is a warm brick orange. <laughs> so it's definitely, it's kind of like a burnt orange. It reminds me more of, you know, how you've seen like in the, the 70s, the decor that was orange. I remember from my childhood, my parents still had some leftover things like blankets and stuff this color. So it's really that like orange. And then we have Velvet Morning, which is an orangey red shade. This is stunning and so great for the summer. It's such a beautiful shade. If you have warm undertones in your skin, it's like a gorgeous red. I wouldn't miss it. Next up, we have Velvet Ribbon, which is my personal favorite for the reds. It is a cool tone red. You can see you've got some pink tones in there. It's blue based 
it's just stunning. And this one has a mix of undertones, so it looks a little different on everybody, but I just think it's, it's so classic. Uh, I think if you ask anybody, this would be the iconic Lisa Eldred shade. And moving on, we have Velvet Jazz, which is more of a burgundy based red. And you can see this one has a mix of warm and cool tones in it, but it does lean cooler. So it's a really beautiful, beautiful burgundy red. Uh, that's another one of the shades I really like. It is deep. Then we have a very shocking pink shade. This is called Carnival, Velvet Carnival, and it's a blue-based fuchsia. So very pink, um, very bright and shocking, but there are blue tones in it. It goes really well with that Delilah gloss here that has a shimmer. And next we have Velvet Myth. I'm gonna have to start moving here. So Myth, this is the berry shade, and you can see that you've got some purpley tones to it. Um, it is cooler in tone. It's a really pretty, almost like crushed blackberries. And then last up, we have Velvet Midnight, which is a really deep, kind of like an eggplant purple with a, there's a little bit of pink in it compared to eggplant, but it's really essentially like an eggplant purple shade. Very stunning on certain people. It's really pretty. Um, so these are the velvet lipsticks and the glosses and the lip liners. So I hope this was helpful. I really wanted to be able to showcase all of the shades for you so that I can help with your purchasing decisions. Don't forget to take a look at the Lisa Eldridge website and save this video for reference for her future launches because you know, it's a lot. So now I'm going to let you take a look at all of the lip swatches going from glosses to lipsticks. Thank you.
I hope this was a helpful video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you next time. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy.